Okay, Adley, do you have a question for me? Yes, sir. I have a question about number 13 on the homework. Sure, sure. Can you share your screen? Uh, it says lim t approaching zero sin 5t over t. Uh, so you are trying to find the limit of this sine function 5t over t when t approaches to zero, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you stop sharing your screen, then we can go from there. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see. Oh, okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, first of all, do you know this rule? The limit of sine x over x when x approaches to zero. What is the limit of this function? Uh, one. One, that's the rule. So you have to keep in mind, you have to apply this rule whenever it's possible. Okay. And one more thing, one more thing you have to keep in mind is this X could be any value. For example, sign, let's say I'm going to replace this X by box. And the very same box come on the denominator as well. Very same box, okay? Yeah. If we are interested to find the limit of sine this box over the very same box when that box approaches to zero, then that limit would be always one. Whatever is the value inside that box, we don't care. Okay. You understand? It could be, let's say, 5x over 5x. And here is the 5x. So still the limit would be one. Okay. You understand? So, yeah. second? I said, yeah. Now, in your problem, the problem has a sine five X over X, yes? Yes. So you don't have five X over five X. You just have five X over X. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you make this x 5x? Mm, yeah, you can. How do you do that? You cancel out the five, the x's. No, you multiply this x by 5 on the bottom and you can multiply the top part by 5. So you are multiplying the numerator by okay. 5 and denominator by 5. That means basically you are multiplying by 1. Okay. Can I do that? Uh, yes. Five over five is what? One. One. So I'm multiplying the top part by five and bottom part by five. That is basically multiplying by one. Okay. Now, another problem is the limit. The limit 5x goes to zero. That is the situation you can use from the formula, but the question you have limit x approach to zero am i right you're right but tell me what happens here when x approach to zero what happens to the 5x they become zero that also approach to zero yeah you got me yes sir so instead of limit x approach to zero i can also say if x approach to zero is the situation i'm trying to imply here then 5x also has to approach to zero. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So it does not matter either x approach to zero or 5x approach to zero because they both of them are equivalent statement. Right? Yes, sir. So now look at here. There is a property of limit. It says that if you are trying to find the limit of this type of expression with the constant, you don't have to worry about this constant. You can just bring this constant outside and find the limit of this function where you have x. Yes? Yes. So you tell me, what is the limit of sine 5x over 5x when x approaches to 0? It is 0. It is? No, it's, one. It's, one. it's 1. That's the formula we have up there, right? Right. That's the reason I can say this is five 
times the limit is one. So five times one is? Five. Five. Did you follow those steps here? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's your answer, right? Right. Okay, so that's good. Uh, so anything else here? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I have any more questions. Verse four.